being outside and in nature, it just really brings a positivity and a good energy. You sit there and watch it for a little while, everything seems to have its place and there's a lot of order amongst all the chaos. It's pretty amazing. The traditional power line running across vast stretches of wilderness and open areas is old, it's been around a long time, so it's definitely an aging infrastructure. During late summer, you're going to have very dry conditions, very windy conditions, and if a power line gets blown down, it would obviously wreak havoc, as we've seen in California over the last handful of years. pg and &E's current solution is to shut power in those regions to protect against wildfires. Not necessarily the best solution, especially for their customer base. You know, there may be no end in sight for the public safety power shutoff, so planning on what you can do is what a lot of people are thinking about right now. Over the last couple of years, energy storage through batteries has come online. It's been a rapid shift in how people approach energy in their home. You have your solar panels generating electricity, you have your battery system storing that energy so you can deploy it as needed at your home. Across the board, there's been just a trend of increased electricity usage. I mean, it's gotta be from everyone being at home. People that used to work in an office are now working at home. Uh, kids that used to be at school are now doing school at home. We get calls where people are now really motivated to add solar because they see how important it is to have a resilient home. Providing people with clean, renewable energy sources is a great feeling and, you know, there's no reason to not be turning the sun into power every day. Being able to produce your own power, store your own power without relying upon a third party, a utility, it's pretty amazing. <laughs>